Hello guys, my great pleasure to welcome you to my channel Let's say Graphics and Multimedia. My name is Rafi Yakub right here and in today's video you are going to learn how to create a social media post banner for your business step by step tutorial using Photoshop. So with that being said, so let's dive into tutorial and see how you can create a social media post banner using Photoshop step by step tutorial. So let's begin. So the first thing you want to do right here is to go to your home tab right here. Make sure you click on file and then you have to click on new. Then you have to come to the top right here at the top on here you have to type to the design social media post all right so the next thing you want to do is to come to pixels right here you have to switch from pixels to inches then the next thing you need to do is to come to the weight right here and under the weight column type in four point And you have to move to the height column also then under the height column you have to type in 4.47 then you have to make sure your resolution is 300 just type in 300 into the resolution column and then you have to leave your color to be rgb finally you come down below right here and click on create all right so the next thing you want to do right here is to start to play with shapes and color and then see how you can create a fantastic social media post in Photoshop. So the first thing you have to do is to go to your toolbar right here, click and hold down. So you have to choose your rectangle tool. Then having to choose rectangle tool, you have to come to the rectangle tool property right here. Make sure shape is checked and then you can pick color from the points here. And then once you format the shape, then you have to come to the workspace and draw your rectangle shape this way so the next thing you want to do right here is to come to the home tab right here go to edit from edit make sure you look for free transform then you have to come to the degree from the top right here you have to make your degree to be 50 angle then you have to adjust the shape in a proper way Once you satisfy with the adjustment, you have to come to the top right here. Click on this check mark to confirm the transform. Okay. And then you have to click on yes. Next thing you want to do right here is to go back to your pick two. And then you have to come to the top right here. You have to go to file. Then from file, you have to look for place embedded. Once you satisfy with the picture adjustment, come to the top right here, click on this check mark to accept the picture. Alright, so next thing you want to do is to come back to your layer panel right here. Select your background layer. And having you select your background layer, you have to go back to your tool spot right here. Click on hold down. Make sure you choose your rectangle shape. Then having you choose rectangle shape, you have to draw another tiny rectangle at the bottom right here. So the next thing you want to do right here is to go back to your layer panel right here and then you have to select your background layer again having select your background layer you go back to your toolbar then you click and hold down this time around you have to still select your rectangle shape and then you come to the shape property make sure shape is checked you can change the color this time around to another uh, color from the color panel right here and then you draw another rectangle right here Then you have to go to your move tool right here then you have to adjust this rectangle to be a little bit at the top next thing you want to do is to fall back to this particular rectangle right here then you have to right click on your layer thumbnail right here then you have to look for duplicate layer this duplicate one right here you can change it to be white color you can name it white color and then you click on ok so this one right here, you have to drag it at the bottom of the original rectangle. Then you double click on the layer thumbnail. Then you have to pick the white color from here and then you click on OK. Next thing you want to do is to go to edit from the home tab right here. Make sure you click on free transform. Then you have to drag it out a little bit. So 
So once you satisfy, you have to come to the top right here and uh, click on this confirm transform. Boom. So you are going to have something like this. All right. So the next thing you want to do is to fall back to this uh, particular rectangle one shape. And then what you need to do is to right click again and uh, go to your duplicate layer. So you can make this color layer. And then uh, you click on OK. This top color layer right here, you have to uh, disable it. Then you have to fall back to the original layer right here. What you need to do next is to go to File. From the Home tab right here, you go to File. Then from here, you go to Place Embedded. Once you satisfy with the adjustment of the image, you have to come to the top right here. Click on this check mark to approve the image transform next thing you want to do right here is to come back to the layer right here right click on the layer and then make sure you click on create clipping mask boom so you're going to have something like this next thing you want to do is to apply appropriate color to your design so we can start from this uh, this particular shape right here select on the shape then double click on the layer thumbnail to bring out the color wheel then we can pick our color from the point right here. You can see the color code I used right here. Okay. So I'm going to right click and uh, I will make sure I copy the color code and then I'll click on OK right here. So next thing I want to do is to come to the uh, image layer right here. Then I will come to the layer panel and uh, I will make sure I enable this layer. Having enabled this layer, I will have to double click on the layer thumbnail. Then right here, I will paste the color code here. Control V to paste the color code. So I will paste the color code. So you are going to have something like this. Then I will click on OK. When I will come to the blend mode right here, I will make sure I choose overlay. So we are going to have something like this. Then we have to select this particular shape right here. We come to the layer panel and uh, we make sure we double click on the layer thumbnail. Then we have to pick another color. So you can see the color code I use right here. Then I'll come here and I'll make sure I click on OK. Boom. So at this point now, the next thing I'm going to do is to add text and logo to my simple social media amazing banner in Photoshop. So let's see how you add text and uh, icon to your banner in Photoshop.
they wanna say they hate, but they know it's cap. I ain't play no games. I just do that's fact, and I don't feel no shame. It's a mood you lack. I go crazy. Nah, but I ain't lazy. Track after track, I work on this shit daily. Pass me the jack, right? This fuel got me hazy. About to unpack all these shit I've been chasing. I got visions in my head, like memories after death. To be a legend instead of something you can forget. I'm living up every breath. I'd rather leave than be led. I'll fill the seats as I spread with every word that I've said.